Yo, what's up guys and welcome to part 4 of the Oras UU Road to Top 10. Today we're going to be using a sub disabled quiver dancing uh, Venomoth. Actually a really cool set, especially for um, Pokemon like for example Aromatherapy Flurry. This thing sets up all over, does have tinted lands, disables the Moonblast. Not that it can break the sub after quiver anyway. Um, and things like that. So this is really cool for choice locked mons as well. So we're actually going to be looking for a battle. I want to give a shout out to Tio one more time for his team. Unfortunately, it looks like we got a game where I don't think Venomoth will do too much, but who knows? Well, I'll actually see. I absolutely can put in a bit of work uh, if I get rid of Aerodactyl as well as Infernape. Hmm. I think Crobat's just the best lead, to be honest. It takes a hit from everything, uh, as he actually ends up leading off with Hoopa, so this is fine. Uh, what I can do is just U-turn it out of there. I do have... I don't think he'd be Scarf. I don't think Scarf would outspeed me. <laughs> no, nah, it would be able to outspeed me, but... Actually, isn't this 393? No, my math is terrible right now. I could just go for U-turn anyway. It's always going to be my best play. As uh, He doesn't have a ground type, so I'm going to go out into Rotom and spam the uh, Volt Turn combination. I am choice spec, so he actually doesn't appreciate switching into this thing at all. Uh, I can live any one hit from his uh, Aerodactyl as well. So... Yeah, I don't... I don't. I think he's going to go uh, Hydreigon right here, but I can just play around that. And if he stays in, great. Yeah, 262 is... It doesn't hit me like that. So he actually sacks Aerodactyl. That's perfect for Venomoth. Uh, definitely opens up a door for that. Uh, I don't mind him weakening this. Not like Rotomo was doing much versus his team. He had Infernape, uh, Dragon, and things. I'm not Scarf anyway. So getting rid of his Aerodactyl is great. Um, thinking his rocker is Infernape. Now, what do I want to do from here? Let's see. I honestly think Crobat's just the best play. Because it outspeeds the majority of his team, if not all of it, unless they're Scarf. But yeah, 262, that reminded me of that DPP number. Where, I think it was Breloom, which wasn't faster than Crobat. But, he goes out into his Porygon. This is a problem. Kind of. I'm actually going to sack my Rotom right here. I don't want to risk him being Scarf. Uh, I can afford to go out into my Cobalion after, as he unfortunately misses a Thunder. Uh, I can just go for Specs Thunderbolt. If he wants to stand and go for Thunder again, that's fine. Either way, Specs Thunderbolt is 2 KOing something. Goes Infernape. Um, it's a Leftovers variant. Very interesting. But I'm just going to 2 KO with the Thunderbolt if he chooses to get up rocks right here. And if he chooses to attack me, then I could just go out to my Crobat one more time. I'm faster, so he's a bulkier variant of Infernape. All right. Interesting, interesting turns all around. I'm not sure. Where are we on the ladder? We are 1448, so... Goes back out to Porygon again. Rotom is expendable, so I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt right here. Specs goes right for Tri Attack, though. Good play. That pretty much his only play. He's either uh, Scarf or Specs. However, I can now go out into my uh, Cobalion, and I think I'm actually going to Iron Head because he has Toxicroak and Hoopa, which can come in on close combat, uh, as Iron Head does absolutely nothing to his Toxicroak. However, I can go out into my Swamper, and he's pretty much almost going to be swept by my Absol right now. I can go out to Swamper. Take anything he wants to go for. I also have Crobat, which can come up. But I want to get on my rocks because I'm tired of him switching around. Even if he SDs up, it doesn't matter. Uh, because I can knock him out with Earthquake regardless. So I'll definitely get on my rocks for all the switches that are going. I want to put his Porygon in range of Sucker Punch from Absol. I want to weaken Hydreigon, obviously, as Hoopa is going to come out. Uh, I really think that Venomoth is expendable. Yeah. It's definitely expendable. Does not speed anything on a scene bar this Hoopa. And I guess Toxicroak. But uh, neutral speed Hydreigon and, um, well, not a neutral, but uh, max speed Hydreigon could take it on as he goes for Drain Punch. Are you using the wrong Hoopa, bro? Still my Black Sludge, though. I'll take that. <laughs> that's pretty funny. As what I can do is actually go for Sob. I didn't expect this thing to do anything. Um, I guess this guy must be a little bit lower on the ladder. He's using some funky sets. Let me check his ranking. Hatred. He's not low on the ladder, so he's just using funky sets. Oh, he shouldn't know what he's doing. But either way, um, him having Magician is pretty cool because now it's going to weaken him severely as uh, he is going to go for Hyperspace Hole, and that goes right through my sub, and I'm going to go clean down. So that's hilarious. I'm not going to lie, that's hilarious. But now what I can do is just go out to my app, so I am 100% faster than him. We know he's not Choice Scarf. He stole my Black Sludge. And I can go right for Knockoff right here. Knockoff is just the best play all around. If he goes Hydreigon and Choice Scarf, I knock off its item. And I can outspeed it in the following turn after Mega Evolving. Knock that thing out with Sewer Power. Same thing with Porygon. Well, Porygon can't live. Knockoff plus Sucker Punch anyway. Um, so that Hyperspace Hole, first time I've seen it in actual use outside of uh, Double Zoyu. 
um, from Hoopa Unbound, but really cool. Either way, knocking off an item on something would be great because, again, weakening, uh, Toxic Croak. Hoopa's at the point where it actually goes down to Earthquake from my Swampert, so he doesn't have a good Swampert switch, and I could actually spam Scald if I wanted to uh, when he goes Toxic Croak. Uh, the reason I say that is because there's no way he's staying with Toxic Croak. I mean, like, threaten him with the Earthquake. Even if he does stay in with Toxic Croak, let's say that comes out after, I'd be fine. So, we're able to knock out Hoopa right there while getting our Mega Evolution. I love, love that the, uh, the Pokeball still, like, jumps off after you knock off an item. And uh, we get that Mega as Porygon is going to come out and, uh, hmm. Even though I want to keep my Absol, at the same time it doesn't beat Toxic Croak, and if Hydreigon Scarf it doesn't matter, I'm actually just gonna go for Sucker Punch. Yeah, because you turn into. Well. If he's Scarf. How much is Toxic Croak at? 91? Hmm. Rock Polish Hydreigon uh, Kabalion is really cool in this. I wish his. His Toxic Oak was weakened. I'm just going to go for Super Power right here as he goes for the uh, tri attack and is able to knock me out. Yeah. But I can go out into my Cobalion now. And every if, even if he goes out uh, to Toxic Oak and doubles, I'll be completely fine. Um, I could SD up, but again, if he goes to Toxic Oak and double, that means Toxic Oak can no longer switch into me anymore. So I think I'm going to win with Rock Polish Cobalion right here as uh, he is going to you know go out to the Toxic Oak right there. And I can just go out to Pert if I want to. I can also just go out to my Crobat because he gains no recovery from that. I don't expect him to honestly stay in. If he wants to double, that's completely fine. But if he does double, I can SD up and then sweep him like that. So we're definitely going to go out into our Crobat right here. Get a bit of momentum, I suppose. As uh, he does double out into Porygon. All right, good plan on his part. However, I can just go out into my Swamper as fodder. Um, I don't want to go directly into my Cobalion just yet. Because he's Scarf Porygon, I do not think he is Scarf Hydreigon. I'm just going to go off that assumption. So next time I bring out Cobalion, I'm SDing up and I'm going for game. Uh, because plus two Cobalion wins the game. So that's definitely the play I'm going for. And I have a Lumberry, so there's no fear of him paralyzing me or burning me or freezing me. I mean, there is a fear, but it could happen. But I'm going to go for the Scarf Tri Attack on me. As what I can do here is just go right for the Earthquake. And... Uh, yeah, as he's able to knock me out, but I can go out to my, uh, maybe I should have sucker punched him with my Absol. Oh well, I can go out to Cobalion now and Swords Dance up. Pretty sure he's going to, I guess he could stay in if he wanted to, but I, I really doubt he would. As he goes out into his Hydreigon and uh, what I can do is just go right for close combat. Mm, oh, this is tough. Yeah, close combat is the play all around. It's tough because I don't want him going to Porygon after, but I don't think Porygon can knock me out regardless after. Maybe with Thunder, yeah. Hmm. So a Thunder is definitely threatening. But he decides to go Toxic Oak over Porygon for some reason. And I can just take this thing out with the Iron Head. I have no idea why he went that. He has Sucker Punch, but I'm going to switch out. And I have no idea why he didn't go out to Porygon. But I'm able to knock him out. And then my Cobalion, once I switch out and come back in, I win the game. Unless Thunder crits me. And he has to hit Thunder too. So that was really weird. This game was really odd. Would have been safer if I, I guess, Sucker Punched the Porygon, but... I feel like I could play and abuse Scarf Porygon, which is what I did, which is why I was able to SD up. Goes for Thunder right there. I don't know why he has Thunder over Thunderbolt. I guess the added power, maybe versus Rain Teams. But if he doesn't land the next one, then Skyplay boosted Brave Bird will be able to knock him out. If he does land it, uh, he actually needs to crit my Cobalion, I think, to knock it out. It doesn't go down to Thunder on regular. And I do have Lumberry, so no fear of paralysis. Again, a really odd game. Um, <laughs> just a really odd game. Some interesting sets right here. I mean, I agree with him going for Sucker anyway, but I don't agree with him not going directly into Porygon. Because, like, think about what he did. He didn't even go for the crit right here. Basically, he could have, after sacking Hydreigon, I was minus one, so he should have went out to Porygon and forced Thunder. Then he would have either had me play around with him missing Thunder and me going for SD. I don't know, I definitely think he could have played that better. And I think I should have Sucker Punched. But at the same time, I, I gained more from going for Super Power if he was in Scarf. So... Uh, but then again, I didn't know what team it was. And I saw Thunder, so I didn't know what to expect, to be honest. We're going to look for another game anyway. Uh, that game took almost 10 minutes. Holy crap. Oh, that takes so long. Uh, hopefully, Venomoth can put in some work in the following game, man. Ah, I want to use it. All right, so we got this guy. This guy has a Fabio and things of the sorts. 
I want to lay off on my Absol because I guess he could be. Yeah, I'm gonna lay off with Absol. Absol's a great lead. Uh, if he leads off with Azelf, I pretty much Mega Evolve, get off my Magic Bounce, and I can just go for Sucker Punch from here relatively safely. Don't risk him being banned in U-turn. He switches out to Donphan. That's completely fine. We are able to uh, go for Sucker right there. Uh, I, I feel like he would be one of those to have Seed Bomb. I'm going to go out to my Rotom because I don't want to go directly into my Swampert. Especially because I expect him to go for the Electric, uh, electric, the uh, Knockoff or Seed Bomb if he has it. Or Earthquake, excuse me, uh, if he has it. So, I'm going to go out to Rotom right here. And uh, what we are going to do is just fire off Specs Leaf Storm. Even though he does have Arcanine, I mean Swampert comes in no matter what. And Specs Leaf Storm knocks out Cloyster. It will do a lot to Fabio um, because he hasn't mega yet. And it will knock out Arcanine. Look at that damage. I mean, that's definitely a crit, but <laughs> still nice damage. And uh, Pert just comes in right now and gets up rocks as he goes for Morning Sun. So I don't really mind if he burns me or anything. I have Skull to threaten him. And I will be able to get my rocks right now versus this guy. And uh, he's actually very, very easily swept by, I think, Rock Polish Cobalion. Dual Dance Cobalion kind of sweeps him. Uh, Venomoth can put in a bit of work, too, if I Quiver Dance up. So we'll see. He goes for Will-O-Wisp right there. Completely fine because now he doesn't have a Scald switching. So basically, he stayed in, which I'm cool with because, again, he doesn't have a switch in a Scald. Uh, Cloister, I have Scald into HP Electric for. HP Electric was obviously for Gyarados, but um, he goes out to Azelf. As we don't burn it. I kind of wanted to burn it, but I'm going to go out to my, uh... No, there's no point in going out to Ab, so I think the better play is going out to Crobat, because if he goes for Dazzling Gleam, which is what I expect right here, or U-Turn, then Crobat's fine. I don't expect him to go for Psychic, because I do have Ab, so... So, he goes for Energy Ball. Again, I get to go for U-Turn now, and, um... Uh, doesn't knock him out, however, but I can go out to Ab, so Get off the uh, Magic Bounce on the Psy Shock. Ooh. And, uh, do I risk this tie? I feel like I'm going for knockoff. Yeah, we're risking the tie. Because if you want Donphan, then I got rid of its item. It was Assault Vest. Interesting. I don't think, I don't know if actually Assault Vest Dazzling Gleam knocked me out. I know definitely U turn did not, but we we're able to get rid of Azelf. It definitely wasn't a Stealth Rocker because it was Assault Vest, unless his plan was to get knocked off. Uh, as Donphan is going to come out, and uh, I don't expect him to go for Earthquake because I do have Rotom. I'm just going to knock off its item. As he goes for Rapid Spin, yep. And uh, what I can do now is just go right out into that Rotom. Uh, we got rid of its item, so that's really good for us. He actually gets up Stealth Rock on my abs, so okay. I see you, bro. I see you. Uh, what I want to do is actually trick him the Choice Specs to lock him into whatever attack he decides to go for as he goes for knockoff. So unfortunately, I lose my leftovers right there. But I can just go for Volt Switch as he decides to... Um, decides it's better to stay in. Oh, teach your own. I can just go out to Crobat and uh, defog away the hazards now. As he goes Fabio, uh, Crobat, Crobat helps me versus Ampharos, but besides that, it doesn't really do much, so I'm just going to defog away his hazards and allow him to Mega Evolve. I guess if he... Agilities, it could be a sort of an issue, maybe? But not like I could prevent that with anything anyway. So, that's really cool that he does have Agility uh, Mega Ampharos with... Well, that's actually really bad for me. I don't have a switch in. But we're going to go out to uh, Rotom. It is pretty expendable at this point. As he goes for Dragon Pulse and is able to knock me out. However, I can go into my Swampert. Um, uh, I really, really, really want to get a Rocks here. I know he's going to hurt me, but I need Rocks for Cloyster so I don't lose to that. How do I beat this if I get a Rocks? Huh. Yeah, we'll get a Rocks. I need it because Cloyster is more than likely Focus Sash. They're always Focus Sash on these types of teams. And I'll just go for Scald as he agilities again. So if we get a Burn, that'd be great. Punish him for that play. As we do get the burn, ah, nice and punished. That is what I like to see. And because he's offensive, I can go out into my Absol. After, knock him out. Uh, at the same time, do I want to go Absol? Yeah, what is my choice? <laughs> I don't have a choice. He goes out to Donphan and I can, um, I can SD up on his attack. As we're able to knock him out with the Sucker Punch right there. I think Venomoth may win this game. So he goes Donphan. And 100% I am going out into my Venomoth on the Rapid Spin. And then we are Quiver Dancing up because he's locked into that. So we're going to Quiver Dance up because that will make us faster than him. As he goes out to Ambipom. And uh, what I can do is just go for Sub. That fake out did 30 million damage. Good lord. We're going to go for Sub right here. As he goes out to Arcanine. That's cool. Uh, because this is, we'll be able to hit it with a Tinted Lens, Boosted, Bug Buzz. That still does nothing. As he has Roar and Morning Sun, okay. What the hell is the rest of their set? 
Roar. Morning Sun. I have no idea what the rest of it says. So he just has flamethrowers as attacking move. I think. We'll go out into our Venom off right here on the flamethrower. Yep. Okay, and uh, I think SD up. We take a hit. Fake out is definitely threatening, but we set up on that thing with my... Why do you do that? I have magic bounce. Okay. I have no idea why he did that, but... Um, able to knock him out. He does have the Rocky Helmet on Absol, unfortunately. Or on Ambipom, excuse me. <laughs> on Arcanine, where am I? I'm going to go for Sucker Punch just in case he chooses not to go for Fake Out right here. Um, it's just my best play overall. Yeah, as he is going to go out to Dawn Fan. And I can just knock this thing out with the knockoff. It's not faster. It doesn't have anything to outspeed me. And uh, like Ice Shard or any priority. So, And because he does have that choice specs, obviously we're going to be faster. Uh, so... And uh, at this point, I just sack this, unless he has, no, 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 because Brave Bird into everything knocks everything out. So I Brave Bird Cloister, and then I close combat it and win the game. So yeah, we're going to go for Brave Bird right here, Sky Plate boosted, easily able to knock out Amber Palm. Cloister's going to come out, we'll be able to Brave Bird that thing, it's more than likely Focus Sash. Um, it's Sky Plate boosted again, so we'll be able to do a bit of, ooh, if he Shell Smashes and isn't White Herb, we take him on. Let's see if he's White Herb. Not. Nah. He is White Herb. Okay, so I regret getting up Rocks versus Fabio. But he goes for Icicle Spear. And um, Hydro Pump does not knock me out from full unless he is Life Orb, if I'm not mistaken. We know he's not uh, King's Rock. So we can just go for Close Comet right here. He has a Razor Shell. That's not going to be able to knock me out. And Close Comet is definitely going to be able to knock out Cloyster. And that is going to be a good game. So again, really interesting games. Uh, really cool teams we're seeing on the ladder. We're on the climb. Why does this guy have three Pokemon? And why can they potentially beat me? Like, legit, they can potentially beat me. What the hell is this? That agility... Ah, we lead off with Rotom, and we click Specs Thunderbolt. That's like the play. Yeah, we're locking this into its focus energy. <laughs> Crap. Give me the... F okay. He goes... Fo yeah, we're locking it in. Like I said, yeah, I'm not messing around with this crap. Not messing around at all with uh, a Kingdra that can go for agility and that can potentially sweep me. Goes Drapion. I will be knocked out unless he's not faster than me. Okay, I guess he's adamant. Um, so we're able to KO him. Again, I actually had potential to lose to that, guys, if it went for agility after. Uh, because then Draco knocks out everything. Though damage puts it in the range of Sucker Punch, most likely. So we're going to Thunderbolt this thing as well as we get a crit. Cool. Speeds up the process. And uh, yeah, get that win. <laughs> I'll take that. Alright, so halfway into the episode and where are we on the ladder? Let's see if we're actually why did I even go there? I meant to go here. You you. I don't even know if we're on the ladder at all. Oh we are. No, that's my other account. <laughs> my other account's higher than the road to top ten account. Oh well. And that's not even that's just out of fun, just playing. Alright, so we'll look for another game, of course. We're only at 18 minutes. Why do I always try and sound like Jam Dad? Or why do I always sound like Jam Dad? This guy is Slurpuff, and that's very threatening. Actually, how do I not lose to Slurpuff? Hmm. Very, very, very weak to Venomoth, I think. I guess Arrow takes it on. I'm not sure how Venomoth does versus these balanced types of teams. Um, I very much like the Specs Rotom lead, though, because it kills something on his team. Uh, knocks out, it should be, Specs Thunderbolt should be able to knock out Napoleon, knocks out Arrow, knocks out Toxicroak, uh, does like 80% to Salamence, I think it almost knocks out Toxicroak, and then Rotom also outspeeds Mail Sign, so I can just Leaf Storm that thing if I want to. Uh, obviously, I don't want to lose to his Slurp Buff, which is very hard not to lose to, <laughs> because he gets up a boost versus everything, crap, man. As long as I'm spamming Thunderbolt, I can't lose to it, I think. Yes, I'm the real Joey. This is my accounts. I, I, guys, for everybody that always asks, Pokey Aim or Aim, those are my accounts, guys. Ah, thank you, man. Appreciate that. But yes, for everybody that asks, these are my accounts, guys. They're registered under my, <laughs> under whatever password I picked. But at least off a of mammal swine, I got my Rotom lead, and uh, we're just gonna go right for the Specs Leaf Storm. Like I take a nice shard, even if it's Life Orb or Bandit. Bandit would probably do a lot. But he doesn't appreciate uh, switching in the Specs Leaf Storm at all. As he's going to go Salamence, good play. I can respect that play. Salamence comes out. That did nothing. Is he specially defensive? Or that just, okay, that did nothing in general. <laughs> uh, I have like one switch in and it's my, 
my Swamp Bird, unfortunately. I can deal with his arrow. I think I'm actually gonna sweep him with my Cobalion. So I'm gonna go out to my Swamp Bird because my arrow uh, arrow check is Koba uh, my Cobalion. Unfortunately, he misses his Draco. Uh, that wouldn't have knocked me out. It might have to have killed me. I'm not sure though. But we'll be able to get up rocks right here. No matter what he wants to do, he probably wants to weaken me as well. I'm not sure if he go to Napoleon or anything like that. But sorry, bro. Sorry, dude. Misses two in a row. As we're just gonna fire off a Scald right now. As he's gonna defog. Okay, so this is a defog, or maybe he's agility in Polion. I'm not entirely sure. We even get a burn on top of that, so he might be a defog Draco. Um, no roost. Like I saw him Fuga run like Iron Tail, but he does have roost right there, as we can clearly see. And uh, I just want to get up my rocks. Like I want to force him to Draco and get up my rocks. So we'll force him to Draco right there. That actually might have took killed me <laughs> pretty easily. But we'll force him to Draco, and uh, we'll keep him low we'll basically keep him low like he won't be able to knock me out i'll eventually get a full if he wants to spam deep uh defog plus roost so i'll definitely take this and like i said we will be getting up rocks the burn on uh salamence is very nice as well for abs so i'll let him get up all the way to minus whatever if he wants to i don't i think because i think because he's um uh, i think because he's defog mence and not defog empoleon that might be a more specs or an offensive variant uh, and then Stealth Rocker Marimo. I'm gonna go for Scald right here because if he wants to switch out to anything, like I can punish it. And I can also live the next Draco, so that's why Scald was my best play. As Empoleon is gonna come out. And what I can do is just go right out into my Rotom. Uh, I don't wanna take a Grass Knot. I don't wanna take anything from this thing. Uh, as he does go right for Grass Knot. And we do have the Specs Thunderbolt. Again. Uh, I wanna Leaf Storm, to be honest. I'm gonna go for Leaf Storm right here. I don't want him going Mammal Swine. Same time as Leaf Storm the best play because it invites Slurpuff in. I think Thunderbolt is the best play right here. Yeah, as he goes Toxic Grove. So Thunderbolt is 100% the best play because I don't get the minus boost. Toxic Grove goes down, which is something that Swampert could have been necessary for. Also, Toxic Grove going down means that Cobalion is going to have a lot of fun. This is Specs Thunderbolt after all, as Mammal Swine is going to come out. And what we can do is go right out into our uh, Swampert on the Mammal Swine. Um, the focus, but the potential... The potential of a focus sash that was there is now broken due to Stealth Rock, and uh, Cobalion is going to have a little bit of fun. Definitely. Definitely. So he goes right for Earthquake, as uh, he's going to put me in Torrent, which is nice. I can now just go right for a Torrent, boost it Scald, and do a lot of damage. If he wants to get up his rocks, it's fine. Uh, he goes for Knockoff in the following turn to finish me off. However, now... I can go out into my Cobalion, and um, I think Iron Head actually knocks out Mammal. I'm not sure. Is Iron Head knock out Mammal? I'm not sure. I'm just gonna calculate just to see. Cobalion. I think I've done this calc before, and it does like it does a lot, but I know it doesn't knock it out from like full. Sixty to seventy. That's what the hell is it? This UCL type calc. Sixty-eight point. Yeah, that's definitely like sixty-nine percent. This definitely knocks it out. So good boy. That was the min, like, the min I could get right there. So 68% was the min I can get. And we're able to knock him out. As Salamence is going to come out. And uh, what I can do is just SD up on this thing and knock it out with Iron Head. Um, if he chooses to go for Fire Blast, it's completely fine. Uh, he does choose to go for Defog like I was expecting. And uh, what I can do now is just go right for the uh, the Iron Head. I kind of expect him to go um, Empoleon, but he doesn't, though. So I'm able to knock him out with the Iron Head right there. As Aerodactyl is going to come out, and I think we just win right now because I'm going to rock polish up on this thing. And he has he doesn't even have any Intimidate to switch around at all. I live any hit from Aerodactyl as he's going to go right for Earthquake. Easily survive that as I'm able to rock polish up. And uh, Mega Arrow, Iron Head is like, was 160? Yeah, this knocks it out. This is also 160, isn't it? Where are my calcs today? I'm pretty sure Plus One knocks it out. <laughs> I just want to calc just to be safe because I, I don't play the tier as much as I want to. Like an arrow. Oh, you all out attacker. Iron Head easily knocks it out. Okay. I'm thinking it was like bulkier than it was. So Iron Head knocks it out. I don't know why because look at those spikes. Those spikes make you feel like it's so much more bulkier than it actually is. But Empoleon is going to come out. Um, unless he's Chapel, won't be able to live this. And even if he was in Chapel, uh, even if he was Chapel, I just go out to Specs. Uh, Rotom, which pretty much negates it from going for any attack, like Slurpa from Belly jumping up. And I'm going to be able to knock this thing out with the plus one Iron Head. Even if I didn't, it couldn't outspeed me after I'm burdened, and that is going to be 
good game. So we are now at 1500s, guys. Uh, good game right there. Uh, definitely missing the double Draco sucked for my opponent. Um, forcing the defog and me just putting myself. Uh, definitely him also losing Toxic Croak was huge. And this is finally a battle where Venomoth can do something. Yes! I set up on Florigus. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Alright, so we're going to lead off with our uh, Rotom. Rotom's just so nice versus him. Uh, we check a lot of his team as he leads off with his Porygon and um, this beats a lot of my team. <laughs> Why? I'm just going to go for Specs Leaf, so I'm right here. Because we could take any attack bar. We could take. We could have taken any attack, excuse me, bar um, a Specs try attack I don't think Scarf try attack knocked us out, which is why I went for that. But now I'm forced to go out to Cobalion and... Uh, yeah, close combat is the easiest best play. Porygon is such a threat to this team, guys, because my normal resist is Cobalion, and Cobalion doesn't have good special defense, so we're going to go for close combat right here. Again, we're going to go for game with our Venom off, I, potentially, because we can sub Quiver on Tentacruel, and I w unfortunately, we're not using, like, Sleep Powder, but we're disabled, so at least that works versus, like, Heracross and things like that. He goes out into his Tentacruel, as uh, we're going to go out into our Venom off right now. I don't think I have a better switch in. Do I? Uh, maybe not. And again, I could just go Swampert. Like, I don't... He's going to go for Scald right here, so I don't want my Venom off getting burnt, especially because it's sub-disabled. So I'm going to go Swampert. I guess he could double out into his uh, Porygon if he wants to, but he's probably just going to spam Scald just because it's such a great move as he dubs on the Porygon. Okay. Good play, but we're going to get up our rocks right here. As he is definitely Specs. Yeah, that's the only way he could knock that Rotom. That's unfortunate. So he did double out, which was a good play, but I can go out into my Cobalion now. And... Uh, uh, I'm SD up as he goes for the Specs try attack and we're going to pick up our kill right now so I, I'm still going for game I think I just lost the arrow but I didn't I, I again I called the double into Porygon but I didn't act on it when I should have I should have definitely uh, knocked him out but he decides to actually sack his Porygon so maybe just going straight up for the arrow when Hmm. It depends. If Absol can live one hit, then we could still win this game. Definitely. Not sure if he's going Tentacruel now. He does choose to go Tentacruel. So we're going out to Venomoth 100%. As we don't want to take a hit. And uh, we are going to go for the... Uh, sub or Quiver Dance? I'm going to go for Quiver Dance right here. As he goes out to Swampert. I'm not sure what attack he's going to do, but I'm going to hit him with a Bug Buzz. I can... He might go for Earthquake. He might not have Roar. He might be HP Electric. Because he is very weak to... Uh, he's very weak to... Um, he does have Roar. So that's his answer to Gyarados. Roaring it out. I didn't expect him to have that because he's so weak, guys. He's so weak to Gyarados. Like, sub to Gyarados just wins. But... I expect that. I have to go for SD, obviously. Um, because I need to weaken him. I don't, I don't have a win in this game. I definitely don't have a win. Porygon put me back too much. I called the double, and I definitely should have close commented on that double because I lost the Pokemon because of that. At least we weaken his Swampert for, uh, for my Cobalion to want to come out, I guess, and knock him out with close combat. Applying it even does 31%. Yeah, that's going to be a good game. I can't beat this guy. I can't beat this team. Porygon, Porygon's so good, especially versus this and i don't have high priority i don't have any priority on this team so besides not uh soccer burn excuse me so i'm um, definitely gonna have to play more aggressive versus porygon that's good though we learn as we play and that's also the point of this road for me to learn a tier and to uh do well after learning the tier hopefully <laughs> would have been so nice if you was scarf porygon though not specs but i love specs porygon and fugo uses that a lot i think so we got another game and it's versus sticky web look off of my venom off Hey, I'm going to Quiver Dance and sub up versus Galvantula and try and win. So we're going to Quiver Dance turn one on the Sticky Web. One. Nice. And after that, he won't be able to break my sub after he goes for Thunder. So I'll be able to get up a sub. Like, I'll be able to disable it, which is the plan. So. We're going to be able to disable that right now. Nice. And uh, what we can do is... I don't know if he has Roar on his Empoleon, but... We're definitely going for sub again. 100%. So sub Venomoth finally doing something. <laughs> what is he going for now? 
Bolt switch? Giga Drain. Okay, so he's gonna allow me to set up all the way, bro? You do not want a plus two Venomoth with tinted lens behind a sub, dude. That's definitely not something you want. And then Quiver and then Bug Buzz obviously is not gonna break my sub because it's a sound move. So now I'm gonna be a plus three Venom. I bet you Hoopa still lives too. I bet you Hoopa still lives. But obviously I'm going up to plus four. Um There's zero reason I should not be doing this. He has one former priority on his team, and that is for Alligator. Goes for Thunder. I can just disable that. Misses, unfortunately, but uh, Empoleon is going to come out, and I should be able to go for Bug Buzz right here. I don't even think this is going to knock it out. Probably should have went for Bug Buzz, actually, first. As we do not knock it out. He actually has Roar, too. That's unfortunate. Uh, I don't want to risk him having Grass. No, I'm going after my Rotom. I'm going for Volt Switch. That's really unfortunate, guys. We have the potential to sweep him right there. <laughs> but it is what it is. We can still do that later. And I plan to. So Gavantula is going to come out. And uh, what I can do is just go right out into my Crobat. Outspeed him and knock him out with the Brave Bird. And then I will be able to defog out versus whatever he wants to go into after. He actually goes out to Tornadus. So he allows me to... I guess he's Defiant Tornadus. But he allows me to 2 KO him with the Brave Bird right here. I'll definitely take that. And we even broke Crobat. Uh, we even broke... For alligator. Where am I? Excuse me. We even broke Galvantula's Sash. Go Salamence. I'm not sure if he's Scarf or not, but I'm going to attempt to defog. It's probably a Scarf, but he has Scarf. Okay, so he's able to knock me out with that, unfortunately. What I can do now, though, is I think go out into my Swampert and I threaten him with a Nice Beam, but I'm going to get on my Rocks, obviously. He has Giga Drain on Galvantula, so now Galvantula's an issue. Uh, but potentially we could sweep around. So I'm gonna sack Venom off, unfortunately. Uh, to the Giga. Actually, if he misses a couple thunders, I'm in a good spot. So he goes for Giga Drain, and let's see. Let's actually see if he can miss a thunder. But I'm gonna obviously go out to Absol after and uh, Mega Evolve and go for Sucker Punch. That's like the play I'm making, uh, no matter what. Who texted me? He actually misses thunder. <laughs> it's really unfortunate for him. There's nothing I could do about that, though. I mean, he's still gonna be faster than me, and it might actually knock me out anyway this turn. Doesn't. Doesn't get the para either, so we got the boost now. Now we are fast. I can just go for disable right here, prevent him from going for thunder one more time. And now I'm going for the next boost. Uh, the reason I'm doing this next one is because it means that I outspeed Salamence, which is why I needed this next boost. So Tinted Lens uh, attack might be able to knock out Salamence, pretty sure. Let's see. Yep. Venomoth putting in work in this last game. Let's go, bro. Let's go. For Alligator is going to come out, uh, even if it knocks me out, I get to click Thunderbolt now, Specs Thunderbolt. So we're going to go right for that plus three, Bug Buzz, for Alligator goes down, ooh, Venom Venomoth coming through for the last game. The younger siblings tend to be more extroverted, so we tend to be more serious, haha, <laughs> why is my sister telling me this? <laughs> I'm just going to go for Bug Buzz right here, Hoopa easily lives that, I'm going to say easily because it tanked, it definitely tanked. And uh, at this point, I just go out into my, um, I just go out into my Rotom and Volt Switch, and I'm going to go out into my <laughs> Cobalion right here because I can knock out Empoleon, and also I can knock out the Galvantula. I also prevent him from going for any boost or anything. This might not actually be the last game. We might do another one, but uh, let's just go for close combat. We take this Thunder. Unfortunately, he missed all those Thunders, but sub disable, uh, Sub disable uh, Venomoth finally being able to. Did I call it Vaporeon? I meant Venomoth. Finally able to do something as we're able to knock out the Empoleon after. And that is going to be game. Where are we on the ladder? Are we in the 1500s now? We are back on the 1500s. We're going to get one more game. Um, hopefully, to make us more in the 1500s. Like secure this spot. Even after a bit of the K before I play the next, you know, before I record the next episode. So. We got another game, and um, this guy's actually pretty weak to... Mm, I'm pretty weak to him, this team. Holy crap. Uh, we're leading off Crobat because Crobat beats a Machamp lead as it leads off a Mesprit. I don't know if he'd be Scarf Mesprit. He could be. I'm going to go for U-turn, though. We're risking this. Turn one. We're going right on into our uh, Absol on the Psychic. Nice. What I can do is go right for knockoff. I guess he could have Dazzling Gleam, he could be max speed, but I'm going right for knockoff no matter what. As he goes out to Needle Queen, so that's great. We get to knock off a potential Black Sludge or Life Orb, as or Rocky Hummet. Okay, apparently, my bad, my bad. 
Why do my switchings to this not exist? So we're going to go out into our uh, Swamper right here. As he goes for rocks, really good play on our opponent's part. However, I can get them up on my own as he goes for the uh, Toxic Spike right there. And I am not fe fearing that because I do have a Poison type and also the rest of my team isn't really affected by it. So we able to go for Scald as he is going to roar, um, a, a potentially roar, but we do get a crit. So Needle Queen is going to go down. Why does like, Swamper wall everything? <laughs> It actually does. Uh, Snorlax could be an issue, but now that um, that Mon is gone, oof, now that that Mon is gone, we check it pretty well. My champ comes out, and now while I want to, be, uh, now that that Mon is gone, I basically click Volt Switch. Now while I want to um, Earthquake this thing, I feel like Balion's still useful, Absol's useful. Crap, man. I really want to Earthquake this thing, but I don't want to be weak to Arcanine. I guess I deal with it with a combination of Cobalion plus his friends, so I'll just go for Earthquake right here. He's going to go for Dynamic Punch. It's probably AV anyway, so let's see if we can get it off as we cannot. Let's actually go for Scalds now because I might as well try and go for a burn at this point. But Champ is such a nasty mon, so he actually predicts my Crobat right there as we do snap out Confusion, which is nice, and we're able to get off a Scald. Do not get the burn, however, um, that's going to put him in range of Crobat's Brave Bird 100%. He doesn't, he's too KO'd by that, so we're going to go for Earthquake right here. Just to try and get off the most amount of damage we can this turn. As unfortunately we do not, but I can now go out into my Crobat. And this is Skyplay Boosted Brave Bird. It should be able to 2 KO everything on his team. Stop texting me, sisters. Get out. What are they saying? Yeah, you don't know. Okay, anyway. Uh, definitely have to keep Crobat alive. It's more than likely going for extreme speed right here. I think I'm going to risk my Cobalion on the extreme speed. If he goes for Flare, but it's a good play. But I'm going to risk it on the extreme speed as he actually goes for Wild Charge. So that's fine. Uh, I can knock this thing out with the close combat at this point. I don't know if he was Scarf or not. I'm going to put my phone away because it's actually annoying me that they're doing this. As um, Mesprit is going to come out. I think it's Scarf Healing Wish, to be honest. But I'm going to go out to my Venomoth just to absorb that Toxic Spike now because I don't want to go out to Absol. I don't expect him to go for the Psychic move as he does. Um, the reason I didn't expect that is because now I SD up and I, I win the game, so... I mean, if that's what you wanted to do, you can do that, but I didn't expect that. Yeah, because you sack Arcanine, I get up a Swords Dance, and I kill everything, so that's really why I didn't expect him to go for Psychic right there. But, teach their own. Uh, I knock out everything. For Alligator goes down to knock off. I... even if... Even if it has Aqua Jet, like, I, I knock it out. He doesn't even have Aqua Jet, so he can't knock me out with Aqua Jet into BP. It would have to be, like, an adamant Life Orb Aqua Jet into BP. Um, Machamp goes down to Super Power. 100%. Absol putting in work in this game. Goodbye, Machamp. That's why I didn't agree with that play on my opponent's part, uh, which is why I made the play that put me in the best position. Mesprit's going to come out. I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch right here. Not going to risk him being randomly Scarf. I doubt he is. But Sucker Punch is just the best play overall, as we're able to knock that thing out. And uh, Snorlax is going to come out. This is a plus one superpower. He has to, like, rest and be Chapelberry and curse up and do all these things at the same time in order for me to lose at this point. So plus one superpower is going to be able to knock out Snorlax, and Absol is going to uh, get the game right there. So that is going to be game. So good game to my opponent. Uh, again, I don't agree with the way he went right for Psychic right there. I definitely knocked down my Venom off, but either way, it was still a good play on my part because we got rid of that Toxic Spike, which meant that Absol got to sweep right there. So hope you guys all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. You can, I guess, just some Yu Yumons, though I pretty much have some teams that I want to use anyway, but uh, maybe we can make some teams. I saw some suggestions with like Flygon and Fabio and things like that, but in any case guys, hope you all enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Cue the outro.